Hey Alexis. Hey Alfonso. You guys there? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Oh. Yeah, I can hear you. You're coming in and out a little bit. Yeah, this is this is really bad. I was hoping to get a Cisco Live update, but can you hear me? Um, your your video is turning on and off. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is really poor. All right, let's let's yeah, reconvene. Yeah, I mean, do you want me to? No, let's let's reconvene another day. Let me see what's going on with this. Okay, sounds right. good. Thanks, Alexis. What's causing this issue? Today, we're going to talk about the WebEx Control Hub integration with the Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent, and I'm going to give you my top five things that the Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent can do. Talk a little bit about licensing so everybody understands. I know everyone loves licensing. And best of all, we've actually created a Thousand Eyes end user group inside of WebEx Chat. Here's a link in the QR code. I'm in there with a bunch of other Cisco employees just waiting to hear from everybody. If you have a question, make sure you pop in there. Remember to like and follow for more of this type of content. Let's go. We're in WebEx Control Hub. I went to troubleshooting, searched for the meeting number, and then here is that meeting that had the poor quality and the poor experience. Joe King was the one that initially reported this. We could take a look. He has a lot of red and orange. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on Joe and see what was going on. Now we can see Joe's stats throughout this entire call. So we could take a look at his audio quality, video quality, we could take a look at the memory utilization on the device, CPU utilization on the device that he's on. We could take a look at the speakers, microphone. We get all this information that's made available through WebEx Control Hub. Now the new section here, network path. This is only gonna pop up if you have the Thousand Eyes endpoint agent, either the standalone version installed in your laptop, or it is actually built into AnyConnect, or the new name of AnyConnect is Secure Client. So it's built into that now. And we could take a look here Okay, this is an area where we were having some poor service. Hover over it, give us some details, click into it. We get a little bit more details here and we could take a look. We've got 30% packet loss, very high latency. We have a lot of jitter and it even gives us the location here. I can go ahead and I can cross launch Thousand Eyes and we can dive even deeper into this. Inside the Thousand Eyes dashboard, we're gonna actually take a look at the laptop that has the endpoint agent installed on it. And we can see here, if I hover over it, a lot of the same statistics that were in Control Hub, but I wanna dive deeper in. So I wanna follow this all the way through. So this laptop is connected through Wi-Fi to an access point with the SSID on it called the Boken. And I can hover over the Wi-Fi link here and we can take a look at what the link speed is, the RSSI value, the noise level, all that information that you'd wanna to know to make sure that you have a good Wi-Fi connection. And right now, yeah, this looks actually pretty good. But Thousand Eyes makes it really easy for you to figure out where it's not good. And we can take a look at right after the access point, we have a big red link. And that's where all my issue is coming into play here. So I've got 522 milliseconds of latency delay. And if we go further out, we can take a look at that actually clears up and we have all green dots at the end here. So what's causing this? Well, I actually know what's causing it because I put a WAN emulator between my access point and my home router and I was actually inducing that delay. So that just shows you here how we can actually trace this from the endpoint all the way through the network now and all the way outside the network to show you exactly where the issue is. So that issue was actually really easy to find and that endpoint agent can be installed in any PC or Mac and just announced at Cisco Live, you're actually gonna be able to install that on any of the newer Cisco Room OS devices. So any of the Cisco video endpoints. And what you're gonna be able to see is when you go into WebEx Control Hub, that network path section is gonna be available for all of those devices now. And as promised, here's the top five things you're gonna be able to use the Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent for. The first thing is being able to view the CPU and memory of the device when there's an issue. The next is gonna be able to view the Wi-Fi statistics. The third thing is going to be the AST or automated session tests. That's what we saw in WebEx Control Hub. As soon as that device started spinning up a video call going to WebEx or a point-to-point -point video or audio call, that test gets invoked in whatever device that is and we start collecting the statistics around that. We also have schedule tests that can be run. And those are gonna be able to, you, you'll be able to go in there and set that throughout the day, I wanna be able to test this. So that way you catch an issue before an, a user even gets on a WebEx or Microsoft Teams or a Zoom meeting, you'll be able to do that automatically with the scheduled tests. And the last thing here, number five, is gonna be the browser session test. So let's say you have a mission critical application that you use inside your browser. And again, just like that automated session test, 
when the user is using their browser to go to that application, we're going to be collecting all the information we can from that browser and sending it to the Thousand Eyes dashboard so you can take a look where that application is failing. And the last thing to talk about here is licensing. And just like a lot of other products at Cisco, you have two options. You have Essentials and you have Advantage. The difference between the two is how many tests you can actually run simultaneously. So with Essentials, you can do four, and with Advantage, you can do 10. Where would I use four? Where would I use up to 10? So Cisco Video Devices, I think you'll be fine with Essentials. You can do four tests at, at any given time. And where you'd want to do that is let's say you want to test out to make sure that Microsoft Teams is working good, WebEx is working good proactively. So you would do some schedule tests to kick off every 10 minutes or whatever. Then when you're in a meeting, let's say you're in a WebEx meeting, you would be doing an AST, an automated session test, and then that would count as well. So I think four, you should be okay with that. On the end user devices, PCs and Macs, I think you're really gonna to wanna to push for advantage because you're gonna to wanna to be doing all your tests out to WebEx and Microsoft Teams and all that stuff, but you probably also wanna test out to mission critical applications like Office 365, so you'll definitely probably be going over that, that four limit. I hope this was helpful. If it was, remember to like and follow, and also we do have that Thousand Eyes user community inside of WebEx chat, so again, please, if you wanna to talk to myself, if you want a free trial, maybe you need help setting it up, go inside that WebEx free chat room. We can hook you up and you can talk to myself and a bunch of other TSAs and SEs that are in there to staff at. Hope you guys had a good time and thanks for watching.